Hello everybody and welcome to my fifth advanced Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to continue going into pivot tables. So the, the first thing I want to show you is um, how to get back this. So you just close it off, show your field list and it will show you this again. Um, just in case you ever close it down or if you don't want other people to be able to see it and make changes. Um, so uh, the next thing I wanted to show you is another pretty useful thing with, with pivot tables. So what you saw here when you double click on these it expands um, and de-expands, is, is that the word? I hope so. So expands or de-expands the, uh, the information. If you double click on an actual number it will show you the records behind it. It will only bring through uh, the ones that, that that are in that section. So for this one it's only brought through any sales that were made in London for Cody Otterson. Um, Cody Otterson has made quite a lot of sales in London so um, quite a few records have come through. So that's really really useful. Um, you can get it to um, bring through loads of really useful information. It makes your reports really dynamic because you can have a summary on the front and then people can go, okay, I want to see even more detail on that and go into here and go, okay, that's all of the sales, amazing. Um, so that's really useful. Uh, sorry if you're hearing the, the same noise I get to hear when I delete something, the little warning sign going doo -doo. Um It's very loud in my ears, so I imagine you probably can. If you can't, then you're very lucky. Um, so that's how... Um, you would uh, use that. The last thing I want to show you is how you can have more than one data item in here. So say we want to count how many sales there's been and we want it to show how how much it's, they've cost um, us. So let's take sales ref and drop it into here. You'll see it's split it out. So you've got count of sales ref, sum of sale costs. And now if we look at this, so for in London for Alison Uzri, um, and I've taken his name off a random generator, so don't don't blame me if uh, you can't pronounce these these names that are made up either. Um, sorry if your surname's Uzri and I've just said your name's made up. I, I don't actually think that your name is made up. Um, so this is going to show you the count of the sales for F22 and that those cost 1783 between them. Now sometimes you don't want it to be um, in line like this so what you can do you can put it so it's on that side by take, clicking on the data and dragging it across to here and then it will go across on the columns and if you put anything on the top so say we put a year on the top then you can put it above or below um, and then it would treat it as if it's a, a column kind of structure, so to speak. Um, but I don't want to do that because it's showing nodes. Um, but essentially the column structures work exactly the same as the row structures. Um, and you can keep on adding things in. So you could add, um, you could add date in there. Um, at the moment it's counts. So let's make that max of date. And let's make it an actual date. Um, okay, so max of date. So that's showing the most recent sale for that person, um, which is quite useful. You could have average amount of units. So let's go to that. So field settings, average. Um, so that's that average quantity of things that they buy. Um, and that's just generally how, how you'd use them. Um, so, uh, so much time we've got left, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. Um, and in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a pivot table um, to, to create a pivot chart. Now, if you're not feeling comfortable with, with pivot tables yet, then I suggest you either go back and watch the tutorials again um, and definitely try using them yourself because using them yourself is what's going to get you used to the, the format with them and, and how they work. Um, 
so just keep practicing um, until you're completely comfortable with them before moving on to pivot charts because you need to know exactly how these work in order for pivot charts to work um, so thanks for listening um, I hope you have fun practicing and I hope to catch you soon